wind part two here will draw the eyes. Once again, really simple shapes. So if we quickly overview it there, quick shape there, and then don't look at that as 3D, look at that as just another shape with a gradient. And you'll find if you do that to most of the shapes, a lot of people get, get confused, oh, how do I create the end of it? But it's not, it's really just two shapes. So using the pen tool, shortcut P on the keyboard, at a point, a point, sorry, my Australian accent's probably hard to understand. At a point, drag till we achieve the shape. Click on the red section here. Now I would start about there for the next one and just drag. Once again, click on that section, come around to the final end. Click and we can refine this as we go. And then what we want to do is close the shape. So there we go. Now let's give that a fill. We'll give it a solid fill for now. And then there's show. Now, you can be as fussy as you like here. If you want it to match exactly, simply drag some of these points around. At the end of the day, it's not going to really matter. Anyway, there's their initial eye shape. Once again, this has a gradient from dark brown to light brown. So hit G on the keyboard to add a gradient. And this time it's a linear gradient. So click to adjust the gradient. Select the first color, which is dark brown. Second color, I drop a tool. Select and click. So now we have an identical eye. Next is a quick circle or an ellipse. Drag one out, select your color. If you really have to, you can trace this image around. And I will supply the final image that I create, not the one that I've downloaded from the internet, but the one that we create here so that you can follow along as a reference. Um, now, what we want to do is not delete that for a start. Bring out another circle or simply copy this one because it's going to be the same shape. So control C, control V, click I on the keyboard and select the red shape. Now there's two ways to create this iris. We can either give it a Gaussian blur, blur by dragging and shrinking down that eye a little bit. Or if you prefer the other method, Leave it as a solid shape, click G on the keyboard, and once again, given the elliptical, the elliptical gradient. So what we want to do, the outer gradient will be darker. So select our dark red. Make sure the iris is in the center. We might need to give it a little, a little bit more, just to get more of that. So that has got a soft edge here. So, you know, there's 101 ways to do it. You can give it a elliptical gradient, a transparency, or once again, use the Gaussian blue. Totally up to yourself. But, We'll end up with a shape similar to this. So I'm actually going to get rid of the elliptical blur and I'm going to go with the Gaussian. I'm we'll trying to use Gaussians most of the time. I just like them better. Anyway, there's, there's the first eye. If you want to make sure it matches, which it does, 
final part is this section here, which is once again just another gradient. But it does make it look like it's inset. So using the pen tool, click P on the keyboard, drag out a straight line because that section is going to be hidden. But now I would probably come to about here and drag out that shape and finish the shape at the top here. Now, actually, that's probably, let's just undo that. Let's go to here. Let's make it easier because we're going to need to round this off better anyway. So we'll add a second point in there. So we go. Fill it in. Now what we want to do, so we've just got a slot grid color. We want to match this gradient. So G on the keyboard to activate gradient, drag out a linear gradient and same process. Select your start color. Here we've probably got about three colors. So let's select the center color. Once you get the hang of this, Feel free to sort of freehand your pumpkin. Don't, you don't have to copy. I just find it easy to grab a reference online when I'm teaching people. So line that up and we should scrub all of them. And there you go. So as you can see, we've pretty much duplicated what is there now. I've got them all highlighted. I'm going to hit Control G to group them. And in your layers folder, layers, 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 F1 open, probably a good idea to name it. So if you call it I, that way when you end up with hundreds and hundreds of layers, it's going to be a lot easier for you to find what you're doing. So let's come over to our pumpkin. Make sure that we bring the eye to the top. And let's control C, control B, or hold the Alt key down and just drag, holding left mouse button down while you've got the Alt key down on the PC. Just drag it out and that'll duplicate it. And then you can use the transform tool to flip horizontal. There we go. There's a, the start of our pumpkin, the evil pumpkin. So, and as you can see, if we can tweak these a little bit, we can probably Make sure that is behind so that we don't see square edges. But I usually come through at the end and tweak all these types of things. Same with shadows and things. So there's that first, first section done. On to the next.